Salmon are known for making incredible journeys during their spawning migrations, but perhaps none is more unusual than on the lower Winooski River. Thanks to an innovative trap and truck program, salmon from Lake Champlain are transported above three impassable dams. And as a result, salmon are again spawning in the upper Winooski River for the first time in almost 200 years. The goal of the Winooski One Fish Lift was twofold. One was to create a stream recreational fishery that anglers could enjoy, anglers who can't you know, afford those large boats to go out and troll on the lake. And the other goal was to enhance the natural reproduction in the river. Moving those fish upstream provides them opportunity to spawn on their own and contribute to the adult run with wild fish. Salmon were once abundant in Lake Champlain. But by the early 1800s, they'd been wiped out by pollution and dams on their spawning rivers. In the 1970s, New York and Vermont began reintroducing salmon with the goal of eventually providing them access to their historic spawning waters. When an old dam on the Winooski River was refurbished into a hydroelectric facility in 1993, its owners were required to build a fish lift as part of the federal permitting process. It's an integral part of a trap and truck program that opens up 23 miles of spawning habitat. Located in downtown Winooski, just above the salmon hole, the fish lift also gives biologists a chance to collect information on the health of the salmon fishery. The fish lifted design, it has a hopper that is uh, lowered into the water on cables into an area that attracts salmon into it with a traction flow. It's like a big minnow trap. There's a V gate, so the fish enter the hopper above the hopper and are basically trapped in there. The hopper is lifted one to three times a day by the station operator down there, and the fish are dumped into a large sorting tank at the top of the dam. Capturing these fish on the lift provides us with a valuable tool to look at the biological part of it. We take each individual fish out, we set up a measuring table, we have a balanced weight of fish. Easy girl. Looks like a female, John. 1800 is the weight. We can look at growth rates, we can use these fish in, in other projects, other research projects, so it's a great sampling platform for us to use. I'll put a Floyd tag in her so we can identify her later. The Floyd tag number is 3501. Then I measure the length, 520. I check it for lamprey wounds. We also take a scale from each fish because that's how we can age the fish, similar to tree rings uh, on a tree. And then on some of the fish, we take a small tissue sample for genetic analysis we can potentially trace young fish that we collect later on in the season back to the adults that we move upstream. This is actually a very clean fish, no lamprey wounds at all. Once the fish are sampled and tagged, they are placed in an aerated truck tank and driven upstream to North Williston, where they are released back into the river. The Winooski One Dam is 11 miles above Lake Champlain. This is the first dam they encounter, and that's why we put the lift there, obviously. Directly above Winooski One, about a mile up the river is Gorge 18, has no upstream fish passage, and then directly above that is Essex 19, which again has no upstream fish passage. So the fish that we collect at Winooski One are transported above these two dams. Although these dams block upstream passage, they have been modified to provide downstream passage, so juvenile salmon can migrate down into the lake where they will mature into adults before returning the spawn. It's all part of a joint program between the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department and Burlington Electric and Green Mountain Power, which own the three dams. Burlington Electric station operator John Clark is in charge of chauffeuring the salmon to the upstream release site. So John, they generally uh, take the journey pretty well? Yes. And about how far upstream are we from uh, the Winooski One Dam? Oh boy, that's a good question. What, maybe less than 10 miles by river? But all the world to the salmon, they're above three dams. Three dams worth, yeah. All right, another nice hen. And move forth, produce many eggs. 
The most satisfying part of the trap and truck program is monitoring the salmon after they have been released. Once we've started to move these adults upstream, I actively go out and I look for them in the upper watershed. And so I do nest surveys. A salmon's nest is called a red. They'll vibrate their body on the riverbed and, and spread out the gravel. They are lighter colored because generally, you know, you've got sediment on the stream bed. They're four or five feet in diameter. You know, I saw one as much as eight feet in length. As they work the red, they slowly move up river to pot an egg, so they, they actually grow the red out. Since 2014, we've actually seen fish up there building reds. We've documented eggs being laid. We've seen fry come off these reds. So these fish are reproducing up there. They're doing what they've always wanted to do. Having salmon spawn in the Winooski River main stem and the Huntington River and even some of the smaller tributaries, I mean, we haven't seen this in hundreds of years. This is something we've dreamed of, you know, to have salmon up there spawning naturally. It's just, it just it's been since the 1700s that this has actually ever occurred. The other satisfying part of this project is creating a recreational fishery in the upper watershed. Even though he's been doing it for years, Nick Stats never tires of working the fish lift. You open the lid and you see those fish down there and some of them can be 24, 25, 26 inches long. You hold those, you're going, oh my God. I mean, I love my job. It was fall of 2014. We caught a male, it was 31 inches long and just short of 14 pounds which if it was caught by an angler in Lake Champlain would be a, the new state record. It was just a monster. You know, you try to be a serious biologist, but you just, you can't help to have a grin from ear to ear. And I've just been so lucky that, you know, I came in here and, and put on this project and actually seen these positive results. <laughs>